What's going on everybody? Chrome on Rust here back again with Core Expert Gaming. Gonna have some more League of Legends replays going on for you today. And you should notice that the video quality is much better. It should be in 1080p. All that good stuff. I was able to figure out how to fix some of my issues with the jagged lines and letters not looking so sharp. So hopefully that'll all be taken care of for this video. And I hope you do enjoy. Just got Lulu sitting here poking Alistar a little bit. Oh, and he decides to walk back. She's gonna hit him up. Couple more shots there. Yep. Okay, he got away. Alistar is a little bit slower than Lulu, so she was able to keep poking him there a little bit. I was in call with Yarlith for this game. So we were chatting back and forth. We'll go ahead and start out with team compositions for the blue team. We have a Gangplank. For the mid, we have an Annie. We have, for their ADC, a Quinn. And Valor. And a Jarvan for their jungle. And an Alistar for their for support. For our ADC, you can see we have a Misfortune and a Lulu as our support. We have a Ziggs mid, a Mundo top, and we have the Lord Valabear jungling today once again. He is back, making his appearance known once again. See, this turned out to be a pretty interesting game. I actually played this a few days ago, so I don't quite remember how it goes down, but... I do remember it was pretty good, so I did want to go ahead and commentate it, and we'll see if that holds true. I think the note Jarvin and is either Quinn or somebody like that. They were uh, both ranked players. I don't have enough heroes yet to play ranked. I believe you need 16 of them, and I think I'm sitting around 10 right now. Got Jarvin in coming at his zigs. But it looks like Zig is going to be fine, but they're going to deal some pretty decent damage to him there. But Jarvan takes those turret hits. Looks like Annie's going to as well. Yes, she does. If I wasn't at red, that'd be a great, great place for me to go ahead and do a little ganking. But it just was not quite in time. See, Jarvan actually still does not have his blue. He's going for it now, actually. What am I up to? I don't remember. That's what I'm saying. I haven't played this game, so... Looks like I was trying to go get Annie, but she's on the wrong side of the tower. Looks like I'm just going to go ahead, go back, see what Gangplank's going on, doing up top with Mundo. He has been pushing Mundo in his lane pretty far. So yeah, there I go. I go ahead, do the ping, and hopefully we are able to pick him up here. I am level 3, so I do have all of my abilities. And, okay, I got the flip, so this might be, he might be going down. Uh, he's just getting away, but uh, yeah, I did have my flash there, so I was not going to let him get away. And I just get out of tower range in time. My passive kicks in. I'm getting my health back, and we get a clean getaway for the first blood. Mundo gets to go back. Bye. No pressure on him right now. Let's go ahead and check out bottom. Looks like both the ADCs are pretty low there. Both supports have some pretty decent health. They're all level 3 as well down here. Looks like Lulu threw down her pink ward as well. So you know, I should know that uh, they don't have a ward right there. It's always pretty nice when you are juggling to know that there's no wards in a location. So I should be making a debut at bottom sometime, hopefully, I would think. Got some, oh, Alistar, is he going to be able to pick her up? Just missing that ground slam. Quinn goes ahead and flashes though. Can Lulu pick up? Yes. Lulu was able to clean up. Actually, Misfortune got that. Looks like she burned her ignite there. Lulu able to flash over the wall. Jarvan's going to go in for the chase, but it's not going to be quite be enough. Looks like he was checking for my blue, but yes, I always have my blue. I was warned that Jarvan was there, so I was pretty low and getting a little frightened, and I did want to run out of there right away. Jarvan's been doing some pretty heavy roaming there. It's like Ziggs and, oh, uh, what's her name? Annie have both gone back. So we got purple team sitting at two kills, blue team sitting at one kill. It's fortune just dumping the damage there at Alistair. Mundo and those machetes, man, oh man. Oh, we got Jarvan coming up around for the flank. 
Looks like I'm on my way as well, actually. I might be going to Golems, though. Looks like Mundo's going to be able to get away from this, maybe. Looks like it. He doesn't have Flash on his abilities, and he doesn't have Ghost either. He's already burned it. And he's able to pick up Jarvan. That was great, great, great. I'm on my way. I do not want to let uh, Gangplank get out of here, but I wasn't able to get him with my flip, and I just don't think I'm going to be able to chase him. I burned my Flash last time, and it's like halfway to cooldown. So he's going to be able to get away. Annie is actually on her way up here. I throw Ward. I do see Annie. So, their surprise attack has failed. Ziggs is actually on his way up as well. That is pretty good. If you see mid going up, you want to follow him. But he's getting pooped on right now. And I'm dumping some heavy damage there. Just not going to be enough. Ziggs just threw out his ult. Almost able to pick up that kill. If I would gotten one more hit on him, a gangplank that is, he would have gone down. But Annie here, what is she doing? She's getting too close to the bear. Get too close to the cage. And it looks like she's going to be able to get away as well. Let's go ahead, check out Jarvin's head down bottom. Looks like here. Purple team does not know what's coming. Jarvin's able to deal some huge damage there to Lulu. And it looks like she's going to maybe be going down, but no. Jarvin goes ahead, backs off there. And Lulu's able to get out. Hopefully she will go back here, unless she's going to use up all of her potions. She does have a biscuit, which gives her health and mana, and she does have one more potion left as well. Gangplank just coming back up top here right now. So we do have a 1.1k gold lead on them currently. And Lulu is able to heal up pretty well. She did go ahead and pop her last health potion there. Gangplank doing them crits. Ziggs is pushing mid pretty hard there. Oh, they're going after Lulu. Is she able to get away from this one as well? Looks like, yes, she is. Jarvan is there. He's, like I was saying, he's doing some major, major roaming. Lulu probably definitely needs to go back this time. She does still have her biscuit, but she's just too low. A few shots and she will be down. Jarvan, once again, looks like he's going to be a little too late for this gank unless Ziggs goes ahead and tries to push forward. Yes, he does. Jarvin looks like he's going to be a little bit too late. Once again, he's taking those tower hits. Six is able to get out of there. Got Gangplank and Mundo up here fighting. Looks like maybe Mundo's winning this one, but no. Gangplank pops his ult. And I am down here. Lulu threw my ult, her, her ult on me. So I am a huge bear right now. And Annie is able to pick up Ziggs. So they are actually up by one kill currently. Had some failed ganks on my part, and mid went down as well. So Quinn actually decided to come back out. I want to charge in there, and I think I'm going to be able to pick up this kill here, maybe. She is slowed currently. I don't have my bite, but my passive does pop, and it saves my life. And I'm able to run out of there. And he's pushing mid pretty hard currently. I'm going to sit here, try to save the tower. Uh, this is an okay move I guess but I am pretty low and it is pushing it quite a bit I know Misfortune and Lulu are currently on their way back and I do want to try to save their tower as much as possible here so Quinn is not being able to engage on the tower too much so just having my present pe presence be there is pretty good so it has saved him a few tower hits but it just doesn't look like it's going to quite be enough Alistar burns his flash so that is right there Misfortune is just chasing in there. Quinn pops her ult. She's able to bird fly out of there. And Alistair, he might be going down. Yes, I just had my flip. It just got off a cooldown. Misfortune pops her ult. And we were able to get the double kill there on the bottom. So that is just great, great, great. And it looks like Mundo was dropped by Gangplank. And it looks like Gangplank was dropped by Mundo. So they had a little trade off there on top. Mid right now is currently one level behind. And we are actually able to take our kill lead back, and we're going to send up 1.1k gold again. So I haven't been able to hit up mid too much. Uh, 
the lane's been pretty pushed. You can see I tried one time, but it just wasn't able to. Misfortune's actually able to pick up Jarvan as well. Now we're sitting up two kills, but Lu Annie is really close. If she would just kept walking through that bush, I think she would have been able to get Misfortune. But I don't think she's going to be able to get there in time. Lulu does throw out her ignite, or her exhaust, excuse me. And Lulu's fighting Annie at the mid. She, Annie's pretty strong. I don't know if that was a great move, but Misfortune's going to be able to pick up that kill. Yes, she does. Ziggs is on the way. Just don't think it's going to be enough. Quinn picks up one kill. Just missing that. Probably would have got that double kill there. Ziggs is there to do a little bit of defending. He's got the minions right there, so Quinn is taking way too much damage. Got Gagplague pushing top. I'm grabbing the golems. I do believe I'm going to go ahead. Give Mundo a hand. But I'll try to get that gank going once again. See how that goes down here. Once again, not able to catch up with my run. I do get my roar on him. Just waiting on that cooldown currently. And it's not going to come in time. Mundo does decide to tower dive. I really didn't think he was going to there. And I didn't want to just because of the health. Of my health. Bottom team was just able to destroy that tower. I'll start getting away with almost no life. And I'm going to go ahead, do a little bit more jungling, and probably head back to town. So yeah, it was, as, as I've been saying, uh, Jarvan, once again, is up there checking my blue. He's been doing a lot, a lot of roam in this game. But he is currently sitting at two deaths and one assist, so the roaming is just not going his way. Got Misfortune. Misfortune and Lulu, they're back at bot. Looks like they're going to be able to do some tower damage there before Alistar gets in. That's going to be pretty good. Jarvan once again, he's coming over. Does, doesn't look like it's going to quite be enough there. They're going to be able to get away. And with Annie and Crit Plank, as some people like to call him. Gang Plank going up top. Going to try to be pushing that top tower. Like I was saying, I did go ahead and go back to town. This Fortune's able to pick up Jarvan. Quinn is able to pick up Lou or uh, Misfortune, and Quinn is going there in there on the chase currently. But Lulu is going to be able to get away with plenty of health. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up top. It looks like uh, looks if I'm not going to be able to gank, I'll probably go for the golems. But I decide I do want to go ahead and go in there. Again, Jarvan popping that all on Mundo. It almost got out with a sliver of health, but not quite. Gangplank, he might be able to get away from this one. He didn't go ahead and go through the tower. Let's see, which way did he end up running? Because I don't think we caught him. It's just out of my vision there. So he was able to get away, and I'm still looking for him. Seeing if he's teleporting in any of these bushes. But as we know... He made it to this to the tower. He is fine. And he oh man. Getting that last shot there on Ziggs, just cleaning them up. They're sitting up one kill. They have four hundred gold on us. So it has been a pretty even game here so far. Looks like I'm going to mid, gonna try to do a little bit of protecting there. They are sitting up one tower currently on us as well. One kill, one tower. They got a pretty decent lead. Nothing crazy, but Good start for them, that's for sure. 15 minutes in. I don't think the dragon has gone down once yet. Now that's something where you kind of got to communicate with your team. Probably even like before the game starts. Be like, hey, we're going to try to go for the dragon. So if I ping, watch it. Watch for it. Or so just something to that extent. And Mundo, once again, looks like he's getting dropped by Jarvan. And yeah, he's not getting away from this one. Jarvan pops his ult. Gangplank in there. And Mundo, once again, is going down. He's not having a great day. Two kills, five deaths, one assist. So I'm going after Annie, but she's able to get away. She got her stun on me. Jarvan, once again, doing more roaming. He's going to ping it mid. Good thing Ziggs went ahead and went back a little bit. Jarvan's just waiting. He's on the hunt. Ziggs needs to run back here. Guess he saw him just a little bit too late, though. 
He should be fine. Looks like he's going to get away from this. Yes, he does. So here we go. We are going for the dragon finally. Jarvan, he's coming in. He just knows what's going on. He's going to try to pick it up, but it's not going to be enough. I did have my smite. So that is going to be it for him. It's Fortune going after Quinn. We're going after Jarvan. And, oh man, if I had had my flash there or my flip, he would have been down for sure. Dealing two major of damage there to Misfortune. She's going to go down. But she is able to pick up the double kill. I picked up one assist. Lulu picked up two assists. That's pretty good there. Pretty good trade-off. Pretty good trade-off. I'll take it. Six is going to be free to do a little pushing there on mid. Mundo, he's going back. Go to save the top tower. I didn't see if he was going to come try to help in that little team fight we had. I'll start cleaning up some of the jungle there for Jarvan because he's doing so much roaming. Looks like I just got my blue buff there. Lulu's going bot. Misfortune is sitting up here currently, actually. But kills are tied. We are up in gold once again by 600. Elstar checks for that dragon, but we already dropped it. Looks like he's going to go in there after Lulu. Yes, he does. Misfortune is back. She was able to get out of there. She's going for her support. Lulu needs to get out of here fast, as we see, but she doesn't know because Jarvan is in the bush. Good thing Misfortune didn't run down there. She did decide to play it safe, run up to our jungle, and they are able to pick up the kill. Some huge baiting there by Lulu, giving Misfortune plenty of time to get back. Got the double buff currently. Top tower is getting pushed pretty well there. Mundo doesn't know where Gangplank is, so he is a little bit scared and does not want to get too close to that tower. I was going to say I'm pretty surprised that Gangplank would run away from that fight. He's been dropping Mundo this entire time. I am there, so let's see what's about to happen. Got two pretty squishy people, so I'm wanting to engage on this. Ziggs is able to come in as well with that alt. Once again, Gangplank pops it, dropping me a ton, a ton of life there. And I'm able to get out. Probably going to clean this up, go back to town. Lulu's going back to town. Misfortune is pushing bot with almost no health here. So hopefully she just clears this wave and then she's deciding to go back. They're able to get this middle tower. Yes, they are. Six is really low here. Fortune, is she going to be able to get away from this? She is pretty fast, but Alistar is going to be having his cooldown back pretty soon. No, he, she's able to get away and do a little life leech there to Alistar. Goes ahead, backs off. Going to be trying to protect this middle tower here right now. Bottom team, Jarvan's picking up his red. Gangplank's just coming out, and he's going back. Got the ADC and the support there and bot. And they did have a war we do have a ward, so we do see that she's coming. And it looks like we're gonna have a little engagement here. I don't know if that could be avoided this time. We are encroaching. What's gonna happen? Quinn pops out her, her little bird there, it gives her huge vision. I do want to focus on her, but they're just dumping on me right now. But Lulu pops her ult. I am the huge bear right now. Three of them are very, very low. Quinn is able to get out of there just slightly. She's sitting right next to the tower, though. Looks like Mundo's going to go in for that machete kill, but Lulu picks it up first. His fortune's getting dropped by Gangplank. Ziggs is coming in, though. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Ziggs is able to drop Jarvan, and is he going to get... Yes, he is. He's going to flash forward, pick up that kill. It's going to be plenty, plenty there. But he's going to get dropped as well. And Mudo is able to throw a machete. Catch up to Annie. And I'm going to try to get in there as well. And she just got too close. I got my flip. I got my, my roar. She's going to be dropping. I do have my frozen mallet currently as well. So I'm slowing her down. We're able to pick up the kill. Get out of there just in time. So huge, huge trade off for our team this time. But things went really, really well. We're sitting up five kills currently. So that was just great, great, great. 
Alistar already knows we're pretty close, but oh wow. He could almost touch him, reach out and touch him, but Mundo's able to get out of there just in time. That was pretty, pretty exciting. Glad to see things going well for our team currently. Darwin's going to go pick up that blue. Quinn's pushing mid. Top tower's getting pushed pretty well here. Lulu's going to go ahead and clean that up. Looks like I'm going to grab golems. We are currently sitting up uh, two and a half gold. Two and a half K gold, I should say. Not two and a half gold. That would be almost no lead at all. Things are starting to look up for us. We're getting well over halfway done with this game, so things are going to be wrapping up here pretty soon. Once again, I got my flip and my roar. Just love that combo there. Enjoy the Volibear very much. Zig's just missing his ult, and I'm going to have my cooldowns here pretty soon, but their middle tower is still up, so we have to actually stop the engage. Miss Fortune, she flanked around. I just missed that. She, okay, good thing she had her flash there. She did start the engage for us. And it looks like I'm going to be going for Jarvin. We were just able to pick up that middle tower. So I'm being a huge distraction right now. Once again, Lulu throw, throws her like third alt on me. I just love that alt. Seeing this towering bear. Pretty, pretty fun. Able to pick up Annie. She's not getting away from that one. And it looks like we're going to be able to get this middle tower. We just do have all five of us here. Even though a couple of us are low. Still have Ziggs at full health. And the rest of us. Oh, Lulu might get dropped, but she did have her shield. She better go back after that one. One shot and she's down. Lulu definitely needs to go back. I think I was the one who pinged Warren there. I was like, I'm getting out of here. I just want you guys to get out of there as well. Especially with Lulu being that low. Ziggs isn't a very big tank, and Mundo hasn't been having a whole lot of luck. Looks like they're going to go back and try to pick up the dragon once again. Good deal. We have two dragons. If we are able to pick this one up, I don't know. Because here comes Jarvan once again. Finish that dragon. Finish that. Yes, we do finish the dragon. There's Jarvan. And yeah, it looks like he's going to get dropped as well. He's not able to get out in time. He goes down. Gangplank chasing down uh, his fortune there. And don't think she's getting away from this one. But I am there just in time. We're going to pick up another kill, I do think. Looks like I'm going to get away. And Mundo might be getting away as well. Oh, I've decided to fight Alistair. And I get out of there with a sliver of life. Oh my goodness, I do not remember that one. I went mad mode there and was able to just pick up the kill. That's pretty... Pretty freaking amazing. So we have seven kills on them currently, and here recently things just haven't been going well at all for them. Early game, mid game, things were pretty close to even. I guess you could still kind of call this mid game for sure, but the end of the mid game is going our way. Yes, it is. Ziggs picking up a few jungle kills there. Uh, the red is back. I think Miss Fortune probably should have went for that, but since she didn't, I might be going there. I do decide to go ahead, pick up this middle, pick up the uh, middle minions, and I probably will be going for red then. Miss Fortune and Lulu hiding out. Let's see what's going to happen here. I don't think things are going to go good. I, there's no way they can know four of them are there. But I'm in my way. I actually did see what was going on. I boarded going for red. Don't want to let my presence be known just, just in case they do decide to dive. I don't want to get caught off either. And Miss Fortune looks like she's going down. But no, Lulu pops her all Beautiful ult again by Lulu. And I just do decide to charge in here. Uh, That's probably not a great idea. Don't know if I'm getting away from this one. No way. No, no way. So here we pick up myself, Lulu, and... Mundo, I don't see how I can get out of this one either. They're just all chasing them down. <laughs> this is not going good. <laughs> and which way is it going to go? He decides to go back towards their base, and it's just not going to be enough. He gets dropped. So waiting on myself. 
roommate uh, Mundo, and we are waiting on Lulu. So we have two people up currently, and they have five. So that was a good, good turnaround for them. But we're still sitting on five kills, and the towers are tied. Three and three. So they might be getting this tower here. I just don't see how they couldn't. Quinn actually is going back. She should have been there to help her team. Unfortunately for her, she didn't. And Miss Fortune is probably going to pick up this kill. Oh, Ziggs able to just pop the ult and pick her up. But Quinn was able to get out of there like the instant that that thing landed. Like a half a second sooner or later if she would have threw down her recall. She would have died. Or not died, but she would have been stopped her teleport her teleport would have stopped so one of those very time intensive games that is for sure I don't even think time intensive is the word it can't soak up a lot, of, a lot of time as well but definitely takes a lot of focus is what I was trying to say So we have 6k gold lead, almost 5.9k gold. It does throw out his ult, but it's just not going to be enough. I do want to tank that tower and take it down. It looks like we're going to actually keep pushing forward here. We do decide. Window throws out a nice little spear there. I was going in, but everybody was running back, so now we are forced to engage. I got dropped pretty fast, but Lulu once again throws her ult on me. I'm loving that ult. I don't remember why I wanted to replay this game, just because it was so much fun, and Lulu's ult was just freaking amazing. Able to pick up Alistar once again. It's Fortune picks up that triple kill, and we're going to get another tower. So, a bad engage at first, but Lulu threw her ult on me. I was able to go man mode, heal up really, really fast, and just continue on with the tanking. That was actually great. They focused the tank. They were about to drop me. Lulu throws her ult on me. And I'm able to just hit my pass, well not hit my passive, but my passive does pop because I did drop below that 30% health. And I was able to just scream, S talking screaming my health was going up. My health was screaming up. Insane, insane. So once again I do ping, I'm like I'm getting out of there, I do need to go back after something like that. I do have a lot of gold, we just dropped three of their towers in a row. And we've Misfortune was able to pick up that triple kill. So she's got to have a huge amount of gold. And it looks like I wasn't going to go back. Am I going back? I don't know what was going on. I might have been talking with Yarlis saying, hey dude, I need to get out of here. I need to go back. At this point in time, I know I do have a decent amount of gold. And it looks like I'm actually going to try to pick up blue first. It's fortune picked up their blue. Dragon's not there, so we couldn't go for that. Jarvan once again, checking that dragon, see what was going on. But Miss Fortune backs off. Jarvan runs up. And looks like they're going to meet here. Yeah, she face checks and she sees two of them. But luckily I was there with the blue. We're going to be able to drop Jarvan pretty fast here. He does go down. I'm able to pick up that kill. Lulu throws her ult on me once again. Huge, huge ball there. <laughs> Picking up another kill. And he's able to pick up Ziggs. Elster's getting out of there with almost no life. Fortune was able to pick up Annie though. That was pretty, pretty sweet. And it is getting down near the end of this game. We do have like a minute and a half remaining. As you can tell, I, there's no way we can push their base into a minute and a half. I mean, it'd be close, but I do think they're going to surrender here in just a little bit. We'll go ahead and finish this game out. So uh, do go ahead and post in the comments if you have been watching my League of Legends replays. Uh, tell me what you think, uh, what you like, what you don't like, what you'd like me to do. Like, as in things I could add into the commentaries or whatever. I would appreciate your feedback for sure. I mean, I know what I like, but I don't know what other people like. So, kind of stuck in that place. We are able to pick up another tower here. Not going to be able to get Quinn. She is within that uh, turret there. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I would sure appreciate it. 
Something big's got to be happening here pretty soon. I can feel it. There's like one minute left. Not even. 30 seconds and counting. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Huge team fight. That's what's going to happen. I was on my way out, but I am coming back. Alistar is able to pick up Misfortune. Everybody's getting dropped pretty low here. And yes, here we go. I'm able to pick up one kill. Going in for another kill. Able to pick up that double kill there. Able to pick up that triple kill there. And is Annie going to get away? Am I going to get the quadra? I do have my flash right now. I do go ahead decide to use it. Pick up the quadra kill. And that is going to force them to surrender. That was just a huge, huge play for the Volibear there. Thank you guys for watching. Like I was saying, let me know what you guys were thinking. I'm out of here, and you guys have a great day. We'll play this out to the very end, but I do think this is it. They don't have anybody up. The ace is going down. And there it is. They did decide to go ahead and surrender with only a couple seconds left. So thank you once again for watching. I'm Chroma Russ. This is Core Expert Gaming, and don't feed the bears.